Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishaloy. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another podcast of my channel. And I hope from the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's podcast. In this podcast, we discuss about MTech in AI at IIT Kharagpur. My today's guest is Somudip Choudhury. He is a MTech AI second year student at IIT Kharagpur, and he has gracefully accepted my request to participate in this podcast. So in this podcast, he has shared his overall experience of pursuing MTech in AI at IIT Kharagpur. So in specific, he talked about that why did he decide to go for MTech in AI, and why did he choose IIT Kharagpur for pursuing MTech in AI. Then he discussed in detail about the uh, MTech in AI curriculum at IIT Kharagpur. That means what are the mandatory courses that is there and how many courses you have to take per semester. So everything he has discussed in detail. Then he shared the experience of uh, you know selecting guide for the MTech uh, thesis or MTech second year project, and also for MTech AI student at IIT Kharagpur there is an intensive opportunity. So the overall process also he has explained in detail in this particular video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay till this video till end because from this video you will get a complete details of MTech in AI at IIT Kharagpur. So yeah, that should be the content of this video. But before starting the video, as I always say, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Without further delay, let's start into today's video. First of all, thank you so much for participating in this podcast. Maybe if you just briefly introduce yourself to my uh, subscribers. Sure. Uh, my name is Somodip Choudhury. I have done my undergrad from Jadavpur University. I passed out in the year of 2019. I did my undergrad in uh, chemical engineering. So okay. post that, I worked two years in the chemical engineering industry from okay. 2019 to 2021. So okay. after 20 months working as a uh, chemical engineer, I got interest towards data, data science and uh, data machine learning. So after working two years, I switched towards a data company. So I worked as a data analyst at a startup called Sun King. Uh, okay. It was a small stint over there. I worked there for around six months. And after that, I joined a company called American Express. I uh, joined there as a lead business analyst. Uh, it was my first major company where I worked, uh, specifically in the data domain. I worked okay. there for one and a half, uh, around 18 months over there. Almost, almost 20 months over there. And after that, I joined Airbnb. Uh, okay. And in Airbnb, uh, I worked there for six months. And after that, I am currently, I am currently now in IIT KGP doing my MTech in AI. Oh, so you have a long uh, experience after your BTEC working yes. in many companies. Yes. Okay. So uh, when did you decide for, uh, you know, going for MTech and why did you decide that you will be pursuing your MTech and you have started preparing for GATE? Uh, so in my second company, the first company where I started uh, my data journey, uh, it was a startup, but it had a lot of uh, variety of folks, folks who are who had done their, who are uh, who are currently doing PhD in stats and working in ML. There are folks who are currently doing masters and also doing uh, and also working. So they are doing part time uh, masters also, and there are folks who had done their bachelors from foreign universities. So. Mm -hmm. On interacting with them, I felt uh, there was a need to learn uh, new things, and these uh, these new uh, things would only be uh, learned through uh, through universities. So right. there uh, there were no such courses available, you know, which would help me update the skills and learn these uh, uh, all those new things which are happening, new technologies which are happening. So I decided to uh, get a master's. In uh, specifically in AI or computer science, but the problem was that I uh, I had my undergrad in uh, chemical engineering, so I had to learn everything from scratch. Right. So uh, at that time I was aiming for uh, foreign universities, uh, but then uh, once I got in uh, American Express, you know my uh, uh, this idea went off. So I thought that let me work and uh, update my skills by working like. Whenever, let's say, I get a new project, I'll uh, learn, mm -hmm. get to learn new things. So that mm -hmm. that was what I planned. But uh, like last year, they introduced Gate DA paper. So right. so uh, I thought to give this paper a uh, try once so that I can uh, access myself, assess myself, right? How much I know about data science and M ML. 
so i gave the paper and i got a decent rank and then i decided that now i can use this rank to uh, get a masters degree from iit and so you know i was able to use this rank to get mtech in ai at iit kgp okay so what was your uh, gate d rank it was 137 137 oh i i think last year they were they were allowing this chemical and other domain for for iit kharagpur mtech in ai i think this year they have changed it right uh, so i think they were allowing all the branches they were only checking what paper you were giving uh oh i this year i think they have changed it i mean your background okay. has to be either cs i mean chemical and mechanical they are not allowing something has happened many people are actually asking me that why they are not allowing anyway i mean why did you choose uh, iit kharagpur mtech in ai i mean what are the colleges you were focusing on and why did you specifically choose mtech in ai at iit kharagpur okay so in my last company at airbnb the project mm-hmm. which i was working on uh, they used a uh, gnn uh, gra- graphical neural networks in uh, in their uh, in the work which they were doing so uh, that was the first time i came across uh, such technology like such algorithms and i i was curious to know about it and okay. uh, so graph ml was i i found out that graph ml as a subject was only taught at iit kgp and it was not taught at any other iits and uh, right so, it's absolutely true <laughs> so i think that was one of the main reason why i had iit kgp at my top priority list uh and i was lucky enough to get admission at iit kgp and one more reason why i chose iit kgp was that uh i think it has lot a lot of batch strength compared to other iits so okay so like there'll be lot of like minded people everywhere and i thought right. that was ne- really necessary you know like working uh, in the industry and now coming here i felt need to be closer to like minded people So right. that was another reason why I chose IIT KGP. So what is the total strength of IIT KGP MTEC in AI? Uh, it it was forty three when we started, but few okay. of the folks had uh, okay, went for PhDs. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. 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 So now tell me about the admission process. I mean the whole admission process for uh, MTEC in AI here at IIT Kharagpur. So firstly, uh, uh, we had to give the gate exam. You can either give get at cs or da paper i think at my time even electrical was also allowed to uh, give right. the uh, to get admission here so after giving the gate exam there was a interview which was being held uh, in and there were a panel of two uh, professors who were taking our interviews and based on the performance of our interviews and our gate score we were uh, the result was declared like admission like who all got selected and all so uh, so okay. how was the experience of the interview i mean what are the questions being asked in the interview and uh, how was the overall experience there i think uh, the they mainly focused on a foundational part so for me okay. they uh, since they knew that i was from chemical background they did not ask m- much about data structures and algorithm but they focused more upon probability so they started with conditional okay. probability then they made went to naive bias algorithms so mine was mostly on probability and naive bias algorithms okay okay now you have joined uh, it kharagpur in mtech in ai and you have already completed first year so what are the course requirement that is there for mtech in ai students uh, at iit kharagpur so uh, i would say uh, there is no such prerequisite required for any courses but i think it would be really helpful if one uh, studies data structures and algorithms so which they already do while preparing for gate just brushing right. up brushing up those uh, uh, chapters like brushing up the uh, all the algorithms and also uh, basic maths like in probability then linear algebra and calculus so these are not uh, required but i think if you brush those skills up it would be easier for anyone to follow up like whatever is being taught at class okay and uh, how many courses you have to take in the first year first year i mean the first semester and the second semester so we had to take total of five uh, theory courses and in the first sem we uh, had to take along with the theory courses two practical courses like lab courses and one lab courses in the second semester so among this five theory courses two are compulsory right? so everyone has to take those two courses 
and three are elective courses. So we can take elective courses based on our liking. Like if anyone's interested in NLP or if anyone's interested in computer vision, then they can take up those courses based on their liking. So what are the compulsory courses? So in first sem, we had a compulsory course on data structures, algorithms, and a basic maths. So this, this was combined at one single courses. And another one was foundation of machine learning. In the second semester, huh. we have two uh, uh, compulsory courses. One is uh, foundation of AI, and another one is deep learning. So uh, first semester, two compulsory courses, three elective courses. Yes, yes. And, and second semester also two compulsory courses and three elective courses. Yes. yes. Okay. And, and one lab, I think six courses per semester on average. Yes. Yes. And plus there is also a seminar where we read, uh, you know, we study about research papers and give a presentation based on that research okay. paper. Oh, kind of quite similar to uh, MTech CSE at CSE department. They also have kind of similar course yes. structure here at IIT. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, I think uh, your uh, uh, guide selection has also happened in the second semester. So, if you briefly explain the procedure, how guide selection happened for MTech uh, AI people at IIT. Kharagpur. Yes. So, at the start of the second semester, we were given a list of all projects present. And out of this okay. uh, list, we had to select three projects based on our priority. like. Like we'll select three uh, projects and give them one, two, three based on our priority. And based on our priority, uh, our faculty advisor would assign us a project and a guide uh, and a specific guide uh, towards that project. So in the second semester, uh, we'll only be you know, researching about those particular topics. Okay. So, it, uh, so it's not fi finalized. I mean, it, it could so happen that after working for three, four uh, months in this uh, uh, particular project, we have we get interest in some other project. Right. So, so they have given an option that in next sem uh, next year, that is in the second year, we'll have a final uh, selection of the uh, project okay. guide. So, if we want, we can continue with this project with the same guide, or if you know some new interest has come up, we can change our guide in the next year. Okay, so okay. this is so the, it's kind of a provi provisionally there are some guide has been assigned but you can change later also yes yes okay uh, now one more thing i want to know here because you're in the you have just completed first year so uh, at iit kharagpur is there any opportunity like internship that has happened for mtech ai students yes so uh, during uh, once the sec uh, second semester gets over we have a gap of 10 weeks so we can go for a summer internship during this period. Uh, and we we have a credit on uh, internship. So like whatever internship you do, we need to uh, talk about that or give a presentation about that at, at, uh, okay. at, uh, you know, at our course to our professors. Okay, so everybody's going for internship or few people are going and few are not going, what's happening? Uh, so you know, there were a few companies which had come here. So few, uh, like around 10, 15 have gotten internship and rest are either planning to uh, do the internship under the same project guide or maybe some other universities they are planning to do a summer internship. Okay. Uh, so uh, you talk about few companies has come and they have taken 10 or 15 students. So when does that interview happen? Uh, I mean, in the second semester or at the end of the yes. first semester? Yes, so uh, at the start of the second semester, we have to submit our uh, resumes and then the interview process starts. So uh, currently it's still going on. So there are many okay. companies which are still conducting interviews now also. Okay, okay. Okay, now my next question is that uh, now what is ahead in the second year? I mean, I mean, you, you, you're just starting your second year. So what are the things that are, uh, you know, they are ahead of you uh, in the second year for, for your MTech in EI curriculum? So firstly, I said, uh, we'll start our internship. So okay. uh, once the internship gets over, we need to give a presentation of what we did uh, in the internship. In the After that, we need to finally select our project guide. So one could be either continue with our current project guide or maybe select some other new guide. So once the guide has been selected, we will mostly working on our project on the research work, which we are supposed to do, write our thesis and work on the whole project for the whole second year. 
and along with that we need to prepare for our placements which would be starting mm -hmm. from the interviews would be starting from december but from october onwards the written exams would be starting so which would be going on right, parallel yeah you have to submit your cv to the placement yes. cell and then they will verify it and then i think company will come you have to appear for the written test and all okay yes. so the main thing is that your project will be going on and parallelly you will be preparing for placement because placement will be happening i think around december yes and then it's full project so no course is remaining no course is remaining for credit i mean all the courses for mtki student is done by second semester right yes but it's up to us if someone has some other interest to take up Obviously. additional courses then they can take up right right i mean that option is always there okay we are almost end to the uh, interview uh, my first, last question will be that what will be your advice for those students who are planning to join iit kharagpur mtki nei this year so what will be your advice for those aspirants so i would say firstly uh, get your foundations right uh, okay like whatever you studied just uh, revise those topics and also if you have any doubts please uh, contact your seniors and also do reach out to professors uh, at iit kjp they'll solve they'll resolve any of the problems or any of the questions you have they are really helpful so if you want to know more about the courses you can directly contact them they'll uh, give you brief idea i mean ai is a really vast uh, topic so there is computer vision nlp if you are not sure which topic you anyone wants to work on so definitely you can reach out to seniors or maybe even professors also to get a more understanding yeah that's great okay i think uh, we are end of this interview uh, again thank you so much i think from this interview all the future aspirants they got a lot of idea lot of insights about mtk ni ai program uh, though it has just started uh, things are not yet sorted out like last year they have taken interview i don't know whether they'll be taking interview this year uh, but yeah, i mean at least from the curriculum uh, perspective yeah, my subscriber got a lot of insight from this uh, podcast thank you again for participating thank you for having me So yeah, that's it, guys. That's it about this video. If you have any question or query about MTK and AI, right? If you have a full, let me know in the comment section. I try to answer it. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon because lot of similar kind of videos will be coming up. So you will get instant notification. That's it about this video. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then, bye.